See, my secret is that I'm never ready to record. There's always just anxiety. Chaotic bisexual energy. Yes. All right, so we've got our oils. And you stop looking. Stop. I see you. No. No. Okay, here's the weird thing that it's not going to stop freaking me out is that now you can see our reflection in the oils, and I want to put the lie in there so bad. Like, stop looking at me. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, it's not allowed. Our oils are here, and we're going to go ahead and get started by adding in our lye, which I'm going to strain because it's been sitting for a little bit, and it's gotten a little chunky, and I don't want chunks in my soap. There we go. For the longest time, I could not figure out why it was some people's why did that, and ours like never did. We found the reason why, at least according to from some people that I've, I've talked to now, is that it has to do with the detergent when you clean your equipment. And the more leftover detergent there is for it to catch on to, the more you'll get those little flakies. But yeah, as Kat said, we're whisking the lye into the oils today because we need this to be as liquidy as possible. So this is technically day two of production. We did not film day one because it was just making uh, the making of the soap column. Well, let's measure off our first bit here. So because the bisexual flag is shaped the way that it is, we're going to do 18 ounces for the first color. This is going to be our blue layer. We're going to be using Brilliant Blue Mica because, yes, I love how vibrant it is. I'm having pride soap all over again where I'm like, it's so tiny though. It's just one itty bitty loaf all by itself. Poor little baby loaf. It's okay. It's okay. We still love you. So the fragrance we are going to be using today this is lovely lavender apple from Nature's Garden. And this, this I kind of just purchased on a whim without a plan. Raven got mad at me for it. And then we were discussing making this soap and we'd gotten the fragrances and I was like, well, what about that one that I ordered on a whim? <laughs> You make me sound so, like, assholery. You're I just, not. You're I'm, not. I'm the numbers person, and when you're spending money without a plan, it bothers me. <laughs> it bothers me. Does it bother you more or less than the ungodly amount of glitter I like to use? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is that if sexuality were, like, an alignment chart, you would be chaotic bisexual. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. I'll put up some fragrance notes for this scent, but let's go ahead and blend. This fragrance is performing excellent. We're gonna add just a touch of blue vibrance because it's not quite where we want it. The blue vibrance is also from Nurture Soap. We, we do love our Nurture Soap mm -hmm. and our Nature's Garden. Yes, ma'am. Fellow bisexuals, you'll um, excuse us, right? Like, it's okay. We did our best, right? Right? Right. right? Exactly. Please. <laughs> bisexuals coming together to accept this as blue. Well, I have noticed that that blue does tend to change a little bit yeah. after saponification. It's blue. So if you're chaotic bisexual, what am I? Um, I'd say you're lawful bisexual. <laughs> lawful bisexual. Follow the bisexual laws. Well, you're Salek. Don't judge me. <laughs> you're Salek. I'm unsalek. I heard that unsalek judgment in your voice. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> All right, so we have to give this a second to set up a bit because we have another layer to do. Does that mean I can make uh, make bisexual jokes or just dirty jokes in general? 
I mean, is there stopping you? I feel like it's gonna need to sit for a few minutes. Yeah. Hey, can you let me know when you're done? Cause I don't know. It'd be cool if you could tell me cool things. Enos pay. Really? Boobs pay? You know, have you ever seen Black Butler? Yeah. Okay, do you remember <laughs> Grell? The red-haired reaper? Yes. You're Grell, and I'm his boss. I forget his boss's name. Um, it's been a while since I've watched that one. But yeah, you're Grell. Just running around all crazy, chaotic shenanigans. And I'm his supervisor coming along being like, Hey, you need to be on task. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Ooh la la. Oh. Okay, good. Okay, cool. What? <laughs> just, just, just. I want them all. I want them all. <laughs> and I want them now. <laughs> the color we are going to be using in this one is purple haze. Oh, this is the first time we are using this color, so. I'm excited. Me too. Let's blend. I'm like having a color orgasm over here. Oh, you're into colors now too? <laughs> I mean, I have them for food as well, so sure? I might as well have them for color. You sure you're not pansexual? <laughs> Sometimes I feel like bisexual isn't even quite the right tag for me. I don't know. It's I, close enough. That I kind of feel the same way. I feel like sometimes maybe pansexuals, like, oh God, what, what's the phrasing that, not neurosexual, but like where you're into to people for like their brain, sapiosexual or something. I don't know. There's a lot of tags out there. I just know there's a lot of really attractive people of all kinds of different persuasions. And I can appreciate like any of them really. Oh yeah. Like, you're hot, you're hot, you're hot, you're hot, you're hot. Cool. But for me, it's almost always like, I have to get to know somebody. And it can be a guy, a girl, anybody, any any option out there. Like, But like, I get to know them and I really like their personality and I'm like suddenly like, oh my God, See, I got to know you and you're hot. <laughs> Whereas I'm a slut and <laughs> proud of it and We'll sleep with just about anybody. It's uh, if I'm gonna be in a relationship with somebody, they gotta, they gotta be uh, got to get the smarts right there. This is satisfying to pour. Right. Look at that. Go purple! Yay! All right, now we let that sit. And we chill. Yep. And chill. I'm chill. Chill. So chill. That looks nice. Oh, did it keep, oh, it kept that little bit of shimmer in the white? A little bit of shimmer. This is unrelated, but you get to look. Aren't you special? I guess that's the interesting thing about soap making is that you always have to be pretty far in advance with your planning. We have a really big holiday event we're gonna be at in October, and we wanna make sure our holiday soaps are ready to go because it's a big holiday expo. Oops. What happened? Nothing. What do you mean nothing? <laughs> that is not the sound of nothing. <laughs> no, I thought I thought it fell on the floor, but no, my stomach kept it on the counter. What? <laughs> what happened? It popped out of the mold. Uh huh. Bounced off my stomach uh -huh. and back onto the counter. Okay. Just for you, dear viewer. We are we are full of sneak peeks tonight. We also have these. Wait, no, they weren't for you to see. Just you over there on the left. Now let the person on the left see it. The person on the right doesn't get to see. No, it's not for you yet. You close your eyes, person on the right. This is just for person on the left. You know who you are. Should we post the videos of the holiday soaps early or should we hang on to the video? I don't know, maybe let the, uh, let the viewers decide. Yeah, how about that? We'll do a poll. Do you want to see the holiday soaps before the holidays, or should we hang on to those videos until after the holidays? I'll go ahead and put a poll up in the iCard if you want to vote. That would be really helpful. Then we know what it is folks want to see. Uh, these skulls look pretty awesome. Hey, we 
could do like a Captain America red skull, like a Captain America one with red skull. Okay, let's slow down and think about that for a second. Mm -hmm. Should we do a Nazi soap? No. <laughs> I'm gonna have to stop you right there. I was thinking like Marvel do a superhero one and then the villains one. Look, I'm I'm okay with doing Captain America. I'm okay and Iron Man. with doing the but we're not doing Red Skull, he's a Nazi. <laughs> so next color we are going to be using is Hollywood pink. And just in case it's a little too dark of a pink, I do have some uh, pink neon here. But I'm thinking this is going to be a really good pink. Okay, that is right to the tippy top. So we're gonna go ahead and let that cure. And we will be back tomorrow to split this in a diagonal like we did with the Pride Soap. And once we've split it on the diagonal, then we'll be good to put in the soap cane and put in the rest of the soap. So let's let this do its thing and we will come back to it tomorrow. Okay, so we're on day two of Pride here. Look at those lines and look at that blue. Oh my god, these lines are straighter than I am. Just so y'all know. It's not saying much. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, those lines could be all like, woo, they'd still be straighter than you. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> Colors came out beautiful. And we are about to split this baby. All right, we have a cake leveler we're gonna use to split this on the diagonal. So we just have to make sure that we keep so that keep your line lined up with the corner. We're gonna try and go down at the same time. Shut up. Ready? Yep. Go. There we go. Lovely. Very nice. That'll be our triangle here. Okay, so hold up a second. Uh, apparently when we were recording, I must have accidentally bumped the microphone loose when I adjusted the camera. So we lost all of the audio for this next section. I'm gonna go ahead and do a voiceover instead. What we're adding here is the Super Sparkles Mica and blending that in. Then we're adding some titanium dioxide to get this nice and white. Blending that up and putting in a little bit first for the column mold to have something to sit on. And these are the heart column molds. Been cut down to fit the mold as close as possible. Getting both of those in there. The big thing is just making sure they're straight and not lopsided. And then putting in the rest of the soap, which unfortunately had started to thicken relatively quickly. That's pretty common with the titanium dioxide. And then Kat started to go crazy with the glitter like she normally does. So you know how she is. She loves her glitter. I tried to uh, get her to hold back just a little bit. <laughs> we also had some extra soap there in those, so those will be some sample sizes. Alright, here is the close-up of the top of Big Buy Energy, <laughs> just looking very green, so we'll see how this looks. We can kind of see the hollow. Ooh. There we go. We'll give this another 18 to 24 hours, and we'll be back to split it into bars. We'll catch you then. So it came out on this side, this lovely can't really see how it came out in on the inside yet because had a little bit of overlap in white here. That's fine. Look at the glittery beautifulness of that top. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that lovely? Isn't that the best thing ever? Mm. All that glitter. Mm -hmm. Swaying the jury, I see. <laughs> now let's get to cutting. 
But Raven is sick, so Raven is not touching the soap. Oh, you didn't tighten the wire. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> well, while well, Cat corrects her error real quick. Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> what are you doing? God. Over here, like, hopped up on Sudafed, and you're the one doing shit about this. Weirdo. Why do you make me edit so much out? Why do you do this to me? Why? I don't understand. Okay, y'all. Look at that lovely absolutely gorgeous <laughs> i don't look curious glitter look at that so much glitter it is glorious there it oh, goes oh there we go you can see through the heart lovely i feel like i wanted to be able to talk some during this and be like let's talk about you know bisexuals and let's talk about bi erasure and let's have a serious conversation but i'm f***ing tired yeah and sick and i don't want to talk i just spend all day at work talking and i don't want to that's okay you talk that just means i can tell more inappropriate jokes mm. All the inappropriate jokes. No, future me has to edit this. <laughs> Ooh, or the Santa joke. I don't know if I want to know. Why is Santa's sack so big? Because he's got a lot of, lot of toys in there. Because he only comes once a year. Oh my god. <laughs> if the dove is the bird of peace, what is the bird of true love? I don't know. The swallow. Did you hear about the army nurse that fell asleep eating popcorn? Mm-mm. She woke up with a kernel between her legs. Oh my god. Dad jokes with cat. <laughs> Dirty dad jokes. <laughs> Do those count as dad jokes? Yeah. I'll, I, I mean, I would think so. I mean, I guess that last one was a <coughs> pun. <coughs> like my Usually my bi jokes are at my own expense. I am the bi joke. Ah. Soap down. Soap down. <laughs> Did you do it again? Do what again? Where you don't really have a sample piece on one end. Yes. <laughs> don't judge me. I'm not judging. It's just a thing that happens sometimes with you. It looks like a pretty bisexual sunset. Right. It's party. Okay. Sorry. So love number two, y'all. So this one, you got the blue on top instead. It feels like right now it's like the secret pride soaps. Like people see those and they don't necessarily think, you know, like our, our pride one. I think we've had people that are like, oh, it's a rainbow. Yay. And I'm like, it's, it's gay. It's like, it's literally it's, called Pride. Right, but I don't know if necessarily everybody always connects that. And especially with some of the places that, that we sell in person, I don't know if everybody does. But this one feels like it's the the secret, secret Pride soap. I don't know. I don't have a whole lot of coherent thoughts right now. I think you're right. I think this one kind of is the secret Pride soap, especially with the whole bi erasure thing. Isn't that being bi is like being secret sometimes? Or the, oh, well, you're dating a man, so you must be straight. <laughs> or the, oh, you're you're dating somebody that's the same gender, so you must be homo. Or the, you, my, I hate this one. You just need to pick one. Stop being so greedy. Uh. 
They're like, you're just a slut. No. Thank I mean, you. in my case, I am. Oh, there's Whoa. nothing wrong with being a slut. Be a slut. Exactly. Own it. But, like... I do own being a slut. <laughs> I am the sluttiest McSlut slut. Can't slut shame somebody if they're not ashamed of being a slut. I think that's, like, my favorite quote. And I think I heard it somewhere. I just don't remember where. But that's, like, kind of been one of those things that's always stuck with me. Well, because I've had people try and slut shame me for openly being a slut. And I'm just like, whatever. I'm a slut. Mm -hmm. I'm proud. You know, if a guy had had a, had as many partners as I have, everyone would be calling him a stud. And uh, he's so cool. And I want to be like him. Yeah. But what? As soon as a woman does it, it's not okay. That. Like, I feel like I'm going to edit this video later and be like, what the f am I even talking about? What the heck, cat? I don't know. I'm kind of used to you at this point. <laughs> Mostly it's just a lot of like eye rolling. <laughs> you know, even if the pink is not quite as vibrant as I was hoping it would be, it still looks really pretty. It still looks like this nice little, little pretty sunset kind of thing. There we go. All done. Yep. There we go, y'all. Bad pride. Look. That glorious glitter. Oh, we call we're calling this a uh, big buy energy, right? Big buy energy. Yes. So here is your big buy energy, y'all. These will be part of our uh, October release. Um, they will be available on catandravendesigns.com, which links currently links to our Etsy. And you can also find us on Facebook and Instagram, and obviously you found us here on YouTube. Hopefully y'all have a wonderful day, night, whatever the time of day it is for y'all. Bye!